name's Bill Howard, and um, I'm an architect who's now retired, doing artwork, mainly collage, with my partner, Patricia. <laughs> Hi, and um, I went to Glasgow Art School originally and uh, designed textiles, and then started Taught painting. Art. Taught art, yeah. And now retired. Yes, well, painting now, all the time. Uh, we do completely different work, don't we, which is quite interesting. Bill's is very formal and architectural, isn't it? Yeah. Because of your method of doing it is cutting paper, yep. basically. Whereas yours more impressionist, yeah. uh, painterly. Like this, um, very, this is a new one for me, really, because it's very bright. It's to do with... Um, it wasn't change of seasons was the subject, was it? It, it was, was, yeah, different oh, it was. seasons. Okay. Yeah. So it's like sort of using colour so to can, do that. Can you describe this, Tricia? Yes, OK. Um, it's just sort of chosen colours that the red colours are the warmth part of the, of the season and the blue is obviously moving towards winter and cooler colours. It seems an autumnal subject to me, is that correct? Um, not really, it's just the whole cycle of it really because it's blues for cool colour, cool times of right. the year. Yep. And um, the colour brown and everything is sort of a mixture, strangely enough, of the red and the blue. OK, so, I mean, we're a, 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 a square um, acrylic on canvas, so your geometric shapes of the, the, the reds, the blues and the, the, the browns intertwining with the white, you kind of, t to me, there's, there's some kind of Almost like circular in the, in the centre, right. kind of spiralling round. Yes, with, that's really what I meant in it. And with kind of crescents and... Yes, yes. Bill, tell me what you like about Trisha's work, then. Well, I think it's very lively. It's got it's a sort of ambiguous. It's based often on landscape, but it's got a sort of fluid, loose quality that makes it a really interesting abstract uh, effect. And um, it's one you have to keep looking at it to see what's going on. But it does have a great life about it. I mean, the like we said with the with the, with the spiral, there's a kind of continuous movement to it, isn't there? Yes. That's very which is um, what the year does, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes, the whole year moving round, and particularly this year, because it's been very strange, hasn't it? All that heat and then all that cold and things dying. <laughs> yeah, and, and then back to, back, back to kind to of mildness space. and confused bumblebees yeah. flying around Absolutely. and trees coming out in bud again. It's incredible, isn't it, really? I was going to say that there are really great contradictions to these two, which is uh, um, slightly earlier. So you've got soft spring and, and cool mornings. Yeah. So again, the it's all part of seasons, really, in a way. The soft spring to me is yeah. kind of things start to emerge. Yeah, um, I'm really season. drawn to kind of like reed beds on a yes. on a river. Yeah. Well, we live quite near that. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's very very well perceived. <laughs> and the pale bit in, is just light coming, really, basically. It's got it. a great luminosity about it, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's this sense of things growing, coming alive in the spring. Um, and again, cool morning, uh, again, a square acrylic on canvas, and we've got uh, the edge of a, a small pond just nestling to the, to the right with rushes and reeds coming up. Is that a fox or something just coming down to have a little drink? <laughs> well, I would like drink, to or? imagine it could be that. That's very perceptive. Yeah. It's not anything I painted, but it could be the fox. I don't see why not. That's dark, really good, dark actually. Dark behind. Yeah. yeah. yeah so it's a nice contrast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, really thought of that. Yeah. But things just come, um, you know, you start painting and you just make marks and then you look at the marks and see what, what I thought they were. But they do start off with a subject matter. And that's the bottom of our garden, in fact. OK. The trees. <laughs> trees and shadows and the, just the coolness of it, really. And again, this, this luminosity yeah. is... Um, how, how do you... How do you achieve that? Well, they're contradictory colours again, in a way. So even this is sort of a warm, very pale colour. And these are, that would be, if you mixed it, it would start off with an orange. And all of this is sort of a, a purpley blue. And yeah, because your, the... your white isn't, isn't in any way yeah. white, is it? No, it's no, it's no, pink it's and um, kind of like cream with orange and yeah. bits of purple all, all within yeah. there once we get up, up close to give, you know, yeah. from, from distance this, this beautiful glow. Yeah. So that's, as you said at, at the start, complete contrast to your rigid More lines. Yeah. And but my pictures, I've got four pictures which represent to some degree different seasons. And um, if you start with the top left, I've got a view of Norwich Market looking towards St Peter Mancroft Tower and the, the building in the middle is um, Sagarnet Pub. Um, but what I've done is treated it in different colours 
with shadows, but there's a certain amount of white from the trees above and white on the roofs, representing snow, if you like, so, and, a, and a very wintry feel to it. Um, so is, is this some of this cut? They're paper all cut, cut in. papers. Yeah. Basically, I do the drawing on site, a pencil drawing, and then work it up at home in an ink line and then print it on coloured papers, which I cut out and build up in layers. So it's quite a meticulous process. But it gives you a chance to adjust as you go along. And um, this is interesting because the way the shapes build up in triangles towards the point of the Tower of St Peter Mancroft makes so, yeah, sense. Yeah, we're looking, we're looking up and we've got our our roofs of the small uh, kind of market stalls That's and then, right. then heading up into the, the, the sky the with a beautiful yeah. focal point. Yeah. Uh, again, the roofs, again, roofs of Norwich well, that's, below here with lots of, there's a similar lots sort of, of a red roof expanse. That's right. Well, it's got the sort of traditional roofs and the church tower sticking up on the skyline. Um, and the roofs are something I quite like doing because you get these abstract shapes and quite strong colours. And I've done lots of pictures of Olbra, a similar sort of thing. Um, so that's, that's, that's an autumnal one, actually, with the l long shadows. And we go up the top right, we've got a, a spring view of a monument in South Wales, which is a stone supported on three other stones, um, in a Welsh landscape that slopes away with hillsides in the background, dipping down towards the sea on the right. So it's a series of um, fronts that go back in time, um, mainly greens, and then quite a strong sky with um, puffy clouds, you know, a spring spring day really um, and then the bottom picture is a sub picture it's a view of Halesworth the White Lion pub and it's a group of buildings very nice traditional buildings in a sort of L shape and you're looking underneath this tree with dark leaves and a dark foreground of gravestones so that surrounds the view in, in the middle which is highly lit with shadows um, so it's a sort of Suffolk scene in the summer um, with the heat would you uh, do this treatment to, to any modern buildings? You clearly like well, the, the traditional enough, size if, and structure. Well, yes. But if you've been to the last exhibition, uh, I did three modern buildings. So there was um, a, a scheme I'm working on in Ipswich, Brimhill Pool, which is a 30s design in white with a tower and so on. That's hopefully being restored very soon, if we get a little bit Ho more Hopefully, yep. yeah. And then the second one was a view in southern Spain, in um, Barcelona of a modern museum looking in perspective with a very interesting front and that was all white but, but with strong shadows and then the last picture was um, the Guggenheim Museum in New York which is a Frank Lloyd Wright building with a sort of spiral effect again in white so they were all sort of white modern buildings um, so I don't just do traditional and, and I don't just do buildings because in fact I like doing the occasional landscape would you and... or oh, Trisha's run away. Would you and Trisha ever collaborate? Can you see a, a piece? Well, we do sometimes for Christmas cards. Yeah. So I'll do the drawing, and then she'll do the colouring. And that's worked very well, because she's got a nice loose style, and that complements my more formal line drawing, you know. Um, yeah, and we're, we're lucky, because we've got a house where we convert to the garage. Trisha's got the downstairs, and I've got the upstairs up in the loft... Um, so we're sort of close to each other but separate and it means we've each got space to do our work and leave it but come up and compare notes with each other and we have a good balance where we, we sort of comment others' work and give fairly direct comment but don't allow the other person just to sort of do what they want to do, you know. So it's, it works very well, yeah.